Okay, we've all been there, right? You're staring at a login screen, trying to remember which one of the 17 variations of your cat's name you use this time. Well, what if I told you that whole frustrating dance is about to become a thing of the past? Today, we're going to talk about the future, and it's called pass keys. This isn't just about changing passwords. It's about getting rid of them for good. Let's dive in. You know when you hear about those massive data breaches? I mean, the ones that hit the news, where millions of accounts get compromised, from your social media to your favorite online store. It turns out they almost always have one thing in common. They all come down to exploiting the very same weak spot, the single point of failure standing between a hacker and your entire digital life. A password. Yep, that's it. For decades, pretty much our whole online world has been built on this idea of a shared secret. But here's the thing about secrets. They can be stolen, they can be guessed, or we can be tricked into giving them away. It's a fragile system. But thankfully, that foundation is finally, finally being replaced. So we're stepping into a whole new era of security, and it's built on a much, much smarter idea. See, instead of relying on something you know, which, let's be honest, can be forgotten or stolen, the whole game is shifting to something you physically have. Okay, so here's the real difference in a nutshell. Think about passwords. It's kind of like you're making a copy of your house key and giving it to every single website you use. Now, if one of those websites gets robbed, guess what? The thief now has your key. A pass key, totally different. It's more like having this unique, super high-tech lock on your door that only your phone can open. The website never even sees your key, let alone gets a copy. So if they get hacked, there's literally nothing for a thief to steal. All right, so how does this whole magic password replacement thing actually work? Let's get into it. We're going to break down what a passkey really is and the brilliant but surprisingly simple tech that makes it all possible. So at its very core, a passkey is just a digital credential. The best way to think about it is like a perfectly matched lock and key. And what's really important to know is that this isn't just one company's pet project. Nope. It's a wide open standard backed by all the big players. We're talking Apple, Google, and Microsoft. So when you create a passkey for a website, your device automatically creates a unique pair of cryptographic keys. One is a private key that stays with you, and the other is a public lock that the website gets to hold on to. And this, this is the really clever part. Your device, like your phone, creates a private key. It's stored super securely, and this is the most important part, it never, ever leaves your phone. Then it sends the matching public lock over to the website. Now, when you want to log in, the website sends your phone a little challenge, like a puzzle. Your phone uses its secret private key to solve the puzzle and sends the answer back. The website then uses its public lock to check if the answer is correct. If it is, you're in. Your actual secret key never once has to travel across the internet. It's brilliant. Now, this is a really common point of confusion, so let's clear it up. Is a passkey just face ID? And the answer is a big no. The easiest way to think about it is this. Your face ID or your fingerprint sensor, that's the gatekeeper. Its only job is to prove that you are actually there holding your phone. Once it confirms it's you, it unlocks a super secure vault on your device. The pass key is the actual credential, the cryptographic key that's stored safely inside that vault. All right, so this all sounds pretty amazing. I get it. But it also raises some pretty big questions, right? Like, if my login is now tied to my phone, is that really any safer? Let's tackle some of those biggest security worries head on. And this is the big one, the million dollar question. I mean, a lot of us have been doing everything right. We use strong, unique passwords. We have a two-factor authentication app. So can passkeys really be that much better? Well, just take a look at this. The difference is pretty stark. Using an authenticator app with your password is a fantastic step up, for sure. But even that isn't totally foolproof against really clever phishing scams. Passkeys, on the other hand, because of how they're designed from the ground up, they're basically immune to both phishing and those nasty SIM swap attacks. They're just in a totally different league when it comes to security. So how is it even possible to be completely immune to phishing? Well, it all comes down to something called origin binding. Basically, your passkey is digitally glued to the website's real address. So if a scammer sends you a link to a fake site that looks exactly like your bank, your browser checks the address, sees it doesn't match the one tied to your passkey, and just refuses to work. It's not about you spotting the fake. The technology makes it impossible to even make the mistake. You literally cannot be tricked. Okay, but let's talk about what is probably the number one fear people have with this whole thing. If the key is on my phone and my phone gets stolen, Am I in huge trouble? 
Thankfully, the answer is no, your accounts are still incredibly safe. Think about it, there are layers of protection. First, the thief has to get past your face ID, your fingerprint, or your device passcode just to unlock the thing. Then, the secure hardware itself is built to lock down after just a few wrong guesses, so they can't just try over and over. And as the ultimate failsafe, you can just use Find My Device to remotely wipe everything, destroying all the pass keys. Now compare that to a stolen password, which can be used by anyone, anywhere, instantly. Okay, so that's all the theory. But what does this actually look like day to day? Let's walk through a super common situation. You need to log into an account on a public computer, maybe at a library or a hotel. The whole process is just so simple and, more importantly, so secure. On that public computer, you just choose sign in with a pass key. A QR code pops up on the screen. You pull out your phone, scan the code, authenticate with your face ID or fingerprint, and that's it. You're in. And the best part? Your private key, your real credential, never left your phone. Nothing was ever typed into or stored on that public computer. It's basically like using your phone as a secure remote control for your online life. Now, it's not all sunshine and rainbows just yet. There is one big challenge right now, and that's the ecosystem problem. So if you create a passkey 